What's up, y'all? Trey B. Dillon in the building. You know what time it is. Today is the day, my guy. It's Tune Day. If you guys are new and you haven't seen a Tune video, it's about to get wild. So stay tuned. Yes, sir. So as you see, the loot is behind me. Um. I have indeed been driving it since the last video. Um, I probably put about 360 miles on it, roughly. Um, they say put a, uh, put about 500 to 1,000 preferred um, for break-in, period. My tuner said that he could break it in on a dyno, but I just wanted to play a little safe and you know put some miles on it. So now that I put my first couple hundred miles on it, before I go to the tune, I'm actually getting ready to do an oil change um and i do want to do an oil change and i gotta throw a, a new snap ring on the driver's side axle other than that after that man we had to get tuned baby hey i need at least 600 at least 600 say it with me at least 600 put it in the comments hashtag at least 600. <laughs> you can tell i'm excited already right? it's been a long time coming so let's get this oil change popping and then we'll head down to the tune. Pretty good, my shorty fly, my whip clean Baby, let me spray your nipples with the whipped cream I'm at the bar, sponge bobbing with the ripped jeans I've been getting 90 West since I was 16 Okay, I lied I was 17 The marijuana clogs my memory I wanna know who shot the Kennedys I took two shots of Hennessy I got a two-seater, only leaving with one Shorty that could bring my next daughter or son Punani poppin' is the only option if you rockin' Head boppin' is the only option When I pull it out, get the top in Wash your mouth, better put a sock in Before I kick you out and have you walkin' Ain't the one to do a lot of talkin' Unless I'm rappin' so what's up? Uh oh You know what I'm saying? You see where I'm at See? Here the tuner man at uh Matt Shoes uh shop. Shoot tuner. You know what I'm saying? I'll put his uh Instagram right here. But yeah man, this has been tuning my car for the past three years, three, four years. And uh we're gonna see what she does man, so we all loaded up. And, uh, you guys just sit back and watch. Boing. You wouldn't know what to do with that. Look, even if you had a ball. <laughs> Nothing but nylon. <laughs> uh, man. Yep, I, I drove it down this time instead of uh, towing it. So, man, man, I can't wait. Can't wait to see what it does. Oh, my new dash. Uh, I upgraded from um, I upgraded from uh, S300 to S dash. It's pretty much the same. It connects to your uh, S300 Bluetooth, but you have way more options as far as gauges, like gauge selection. But you know what I'm saying? That's where I'm gonna be sitting right there. Got another computer. Pretty much everything that's on this screen is also on that screen too. What numbers you got for me? What you thinking? Crazy. Huh? Crazy. That's all I need. It's gonna be wild. I need a number. Three digits. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll be, I'll be re uh, realistic with you. Um, 
all the mods that I have support about six or 700 horsepower. The limiting factors would probably be for me, it's probably gonna be fuel and or um, the turbo itself. The turbo itself is rated for 600 and obviously I'm not gonna push the limits, the turbo to its limits. So realistically, I'm probably looking at about five, um, my goal realistically, I would like to be somewhere around between five and 550, I'd be happy with that. And then if I decide, I feel, for some reason, feel like I need more than that, I have to upgrade, upgrade the turbo and probably upgrade the fuel system or at least the injectors. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? was a problem I'm still working on my album Predict the outcome showing just like a falcon Pimpin' since been pimpin' hoes all way out Towson Moonwalking in my socks Screaming fuck the cops They trickshot find my old block, yo chewed up. It's like the wheels hitting up against the housing pretty bad. So it's usually a good indication that uh, the turbo's going out. So I guess I'm going to have to figure out a new turbo situation and then were you like three months out? <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I mean, it's still drivable. I guess I just can't go in the boost, right? I don't know if drive much. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Well, I guess we're going to have to figure out a game plan. Get a new, uh, get a new, uh, turbo in this thing. Uh, we actually heard the turbo. Um, smack the house and like kind of chirp it. You can hear the actual metal scrape real quick. And when you look in there, um, you can actually see how it like kind of chewed up the housing on the outside. So, like I said, we're gonna have to try to figure out a turbo situation. Um, it is drivable, I guess, but I don't want to drive it like that, especially if the turbo's smacking up against stuff. Um, I'm gonna probably try and get it to Honda Day. Um, but I wanted to get on the track and all kinds of stuff. So unless I can, some miracle, put a new turbo on this thing, even then I still can't, it's not tuned. So uh, it's like a lose-lose, man. So we'll see. This is all part of the uh, journey sometimes. Sometimes things don't go as planned. And you just gotta push forward and keep it moving. But. Yep, it's gonna be a long drive home, but 
it is what it is. But yeah, if you guys uh, enjoyed the video, <laughs> then hit that like button. And uh, you see that right there? Yeah, click that. That's the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching you.